Yo, what's up, tech fam? It's your boy, back with some spicy news that's got my inner gamer hyped. So I was digging through the latest leaks, and y'all, the MediaTek Dimensity 9500 is shaping up to be an absolute beast for mobile gaming. We're talking some serious GPU upgrades, especially when it comes to ray tracing, that fancy tech that makes game graphics pop with realistic lighting and shadows. If you're as stoked about mobile gaming as I am, buckle up, because this one's gonna blow your mind. Let's break it down, keep it chill, and figure out what's got everyone buzzing. So here's the deal. A fresh leak from Weibo, backed up by the tech tipster Ice Universe, is saying the Dimensity 9500's GPU is about to level up big time. Apparently, this chip's got a new GPU called the ARM Mali G1 Ultra MC12. Say that five times fast. It's part of ARM's big rebrand where they're calling their CPU cores Luminex now, but let's focus on the star of the show, the GPU. This thing is supposedly 40% more power efficient than the last gen Immortalis G925. That means it's sipping less battery while still delivering some serious performance. And get this, it's also got a 40% boost in ray tracing performance, which could push some games to over 100 FPS. Like, what? Imagine playing games with crazy realistic graphics on your phone, smooth as butter. Now, ray tracing on mobile isn't super common yet. Only a few games like Diablo Immortal, War Thunder, Honor of Kings, and Arena Blackout support it right now. But if this leak is legit, the Dimensity 9500 might be the chip that finally makes ray tracing a big deal on phones. I'm talking next level visuals. Think reflections and lighting that make games look like they're running on a high-end PC. The leak says unspecified titles could hit 100 plus FPS with ray tracing turned on, which is wild for a phone. I'm already dreaming of pulling out my phone and flexing some console quality graphics on the go. Who's also hyped for that? But let's not get too carried away just yet. The leak mentions that early Geekbench tests for the Dimensity 9500's GPU weren't exactly mind-blowing. But that's normal for pre-production hardware. It's like a rough draft. MediaTek's still tweaking this bad boy before its big debut, which is rumored to be in September 2025. Phones like the Vivo X300 series and Oppo Find X9 lineups might be the first to rock this chip, so keep an eye out. Oh, and speaking of the chip, it's not just the GPU stealing the show. The CPU's got a new ARM Cortex-X930 core that's supposedly 49% faster in single-core performance compared to the last gen. That's a massive jump for running apps, multitasking, and all that good stuff. Now, here's where it gets spicy. The Dimensity 9500 isn't alone in the ring. It's going head-to-head -head with some heavy hitters like Qualcomm's Adreno 840 and Samsung's Xclipse 960. We don't know much about the Adreno 840 yet, but the Xclipse 960 is already showing some promise in early benchmark leaks. That said, the Xclipse might have a bit of a handicap. Word on the street is that Samsung's chips sometimes struggle with weaker CPUs and overheating issues because of their SF2 node. Ouch! So while the Xclipse 960 could be a contender, the Dimensity 9500's Mali G1 Ultra MC12 might have the edge if MediaTek nails the efficiency and cooling. So what's the vibe here? The Dimensity 9500's GPU is looking like a serious glow up, especially for gamers who want that ray tracing goodness without killing their battery. It's got 12 cores and 24 pipelines, same as the last gen, but the new design and that 40% efficiency boost could make a big difference. I'm curious though, how is this going to stack up in real world gaming? Like, will we finally get that console-like experience on our phones? And will it outshine the Adreno 840 or Xclipse 960 when the dust settles? We'll have to wait for those real world tests to know for sure. All right, fam, let's hear it. Are you excited for the Dimensity 9500 to drop? Do you think it's going to make mobile gaming next level with that ray tracing boost? Or are you Team Qualcomm or Samsung waiting to see what their GPUs bring to the table? Drop your thoughts in the comments because I'm dying to know what you think. If this video got you hyped, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of my tech updates. I'll keep you posted on all the juicy details as they come in. Until next time, stay geeked and peace out.